receive Dao. Luckily, we are given the opportunity of receiving Dao and learning the three treasures. The three treasures are straightforward yet profound. The meaning and details of them will be illustrated through the right of receiving Dao. Here, we only discuss two issues. First, by receiving Dao, the true self gets plugged out. It leads to our conscience. Upon the time when material pursuance surpasses spiritual seeking, giving up the true self only makes us a walking corpse. In order to fulfill and satisfy the sensational desires of the false self, we may commit wrongdoings and harm others, eventually creating troubles for ourselves. Our inner conscience is identified and enlightened by receiving Tao. Thus, the body gets to work with the spirit in a mutually beneficial and harmonious way, making our lives joyful and meaningful. Second, by receiving Tao, the front door or main gate of our bodies gets opened. It leads us to conscience, mercy and wisdom. When we leave a house, we leave through the front door. If the front door is locked, we may have to leave through the back door, or even by breaking the window or jumping off the balcony. We may fall and get hurt by doing so. Our body is like a house and our soul is the master who lives in the house. One day, when the body is aged and depleted and the soul has to leave, we can imagine its horror if it cannot leave through the correct exit. This is the pain and discomfort human beings experience at the coming of death and after death. As we know, for most people, when they are dying, their body shows stiffness and signs of helplessness and confusion. After we receive Tao, the door of life and death will be opened. Being able to receive Tao and the three treasures while having the door to heaven opened, we had the opportunity to recognize the true self and the Tao that dwells within us. We are going to treat people and the world with conscience and make our lives more meaningful. We can transcend life and death. Within a hundred years, we will be able to return to where we came from. Therefore, the heavenly Tao is also the way to return back to heaven. To probe further, the enlightenment of Tao is superior to studying thousands of sutras. This is the value of Tao. The enlightenment of Tao opens the main gate, the front door, which is the entrance to heaven. It gives us the guarantee to be exempted from rebirth cycles and to reach eternity. The superiority of this enlightenment lies in that it surpasses Buddhas and saints, it exceeds the scope of sutras and dharmas, and it transcends the universe. Tao is therefore source of all sutras, king of all dharmas, mother of all Buddhas, and creator of the universe. Transcendence of rebirth cycles leads to eternity. Being imperishable, Tao never deteriorates, and we had never lost it at all. Hence Tao is the direct way back to heaven. I be dot what do I get in RECI beginning DA as mentioned earlier, by receiving Tao, we act upon our conscience, 
gain more wisdom, and find the door to heaven. In addition to these basics, we also benefit from the following for our lifetime. A. Being away from sufferings and closer to happiness the troubles and worries we face in our daily lives mostly result from our disregard of the true self. Receiving Tao helps us to recognize the Tao that has been dwelling in us and to restore the beauty of the true self so that our behavior and mind is free from being controlled by the earthly pleasures and being swayed by the losses and gains of the material world. Since our minds are cultivated spiritually, devils would not approach and get close to us. Thus, our fortune can be altered from bad to bright and we can obtain real joy. Be being away from disaster and calamities Tao has been passed on through generations to a one single master since the beginning of human history. The threat of its passage weaves through ancient civilizations, including China and India. However, in recent centuries, Human beings have been trapped by materialism and a weaker sense of right and wrong. Wars prompted the development of powerful lethal weapons. In reviewing the thousands of years of human history, we realize, in just less than 100 years, there have been two major world wars which caused numerous killings and tragedies. The abuse of science and technology has also destroyed the ecology, causing damage to the ozonosphere and the unbalance of the climate. The corruption of human beings' minds has called the natural disasters to come. The human has created calamity. God, with his mercy, makes Tao available to everybody in order to save good people. After we receive Tao, with the true meaning of Tao in mind, we will be conscientious. We can use the three treasures whenever something dangerous and uncontrollable happens to us we will be able to get away from bad encounters. This is a confessed fact. See transcending life and death life is a mixture of happiness and bitterness. Throughout the journey of life, we experience birth, growth, aging, illness, and death. Joys are momentary and wealth is here today and gone tomorrow. Rather than seeking the pleasure of material life, the wise make full use of their lifetime searching the true meaning of life and eternity. In old times, doubt could only be received after harsh self-cultivation. Among the hermits looking for the master in order to receive Tao, only very few could obtain it. Whereas in this century, Tao is allowed to be spread and transmitted through the authorized masters to the truth seekers. The master points out the main gate of life and death, assuring the completeness of our true self. With the true self as our guide, which keeps us away from evil and greed, it helps us think, speak, and act in accordance with our conscience and intuition. Death then becomes the return of our soul to the eternal and peaceful home where we came from. Thus, we will have lasting joy. The achieving sacred beings the enlightenment of Tao, which reveals the true self, 
is like the planting of the seed of righteousness and integrity. Through self cultivation and self-improvement, the nurturing of wisdom, kindness, and purity, it will blossom and produce the fruit of sacred mind and eternal life. In time of overwhelming utilitarianism, Tao is the lighthouse to the truth. Receiving Tao, and then cultivating ourselves, not only improves our own lives, but also gives us the opportunity to better the world. After we receive Tao, we act upon our conscience and care for people around us. We cherish Tao and disregard personal disadvantages. Then we make an effort to spread the message of Tao to the world, in order for everyone to benefit from it. We are devoting ourselves to the work of God, and certainly will achieve spiritual perfection in both this world and the world after life. To probe further, the supremacy of Tao is based on the heavenly decree of God, by which Grand Masters can perform the passage of Tao. The enlightenment of Tao from Grand Masters directly opens the main gate of our bodies, which revives our divine nature. It reveals that heaven is not beyond oneself. Instead, one as true self merges into the entire universe. This is the supremacy of Tao. 1. With the heavenly decree, the enlightenment of Tao is extremely profound and marvelous. It cannot be completely expressed by any words of languages. It is not recorded on any scriptures or sutras. It cannot be described by preaching, nor can it be acquired by human intelligence, nor derived from knowledge and experience nor achieved from gifted talents. Because the above mentioned all have to be created and can be eliminated, which means that they cannot last forever themselves. They all bear partiality and cannot be applied universally. Hence, they cannot surpass life cycles, nor can they reach eternity. 2. The wonder of the effects and omnipotence of Tao is beyond words. It is the wisdom that does not come from learning. It is what we acquire from God and possess intrinsically. It is the same divine heart before the creation of the universe. It is conscience, the holy heart. It is the divine and immortal nature the Spirit of God. 3. Tao is too marvelous to be described. It makes us know without learning and function without practicing. It is a prior wisdom, perception, potency, and ability. It is not constrained by words or languages. It functions without thinking, intents, or even actions. However, it can create the sky, the world, the human, all beings, and all existences. All these, after being created, still cannot carry on without Tao even for one moment. Tao is therefore called Great Lord of all beings. 4. Without Tao, the stars and planets in the sky wouldn't he have been in order. The sun and the moon couldn't he have illuminated or revolved properly. Then the yin-yang energies wouldn't he have circulated, and, as a result, 
this world wouldn't he have been suitable for all of us to live in five. Without Tao, the five primary elements of the earth, metal, wood, water, fire, and soil, wouldn't he have been balanced and complemented one another, which could have put the entire world in chaos. Mountains would have collapsed, lands would have cracked, and oceans would have dried up. Likewise, this world wouldn't he have been an environment for us to live in six. Without Tao, we, human beings, wouldn't he have been able to walk, to see, to hear, to speak, or to move. Our physical bodies would deteriorate quickly into a pile of soil in a hundred days. 7. If one really comprehends the effects and omnipotence of Tao, and can practice accordingly and persistently, one can communicate with and be united with God. This is the absolute truth. It is a glory and marvel beyond description. Therefore, it not after death that one becomes a Buddha. It is when one is still alive that one achieves being a Buddha. And to be a Buddha is to revive and hold on to a one as divine and original nature. This is what we benefit from attaining and practicing Tao. Do what do we need to receive Dao? We have discussed the many benefits we obtain after receiving Tao. Some would wonder why there is so much given to us. Of course, we should realize it comes from God as grace toward human beings. This allows Tao to be spread around the world especially at the approaching of the worldwide calamity. People with merit and conscientious mind will have the opportunity of learning about Tao and the way back to heaven. It always holds true that people who had the fortune of receiving Tao are derived from the tree of righteous ancestors. In addition, during the passage of Tao, it is required that we make promises to God that, a, after we receive Tao, we will keep in mind the true meaning of Tao and put it into action in our daily life. What we speak and what we do will all be based on our conscience. B. After we receive Tao, we offer help to those in need of it, and do our best to indicate doubt to more people so that they can all benefit from the grace of God. C. After we attain the three treasures, we promise not to tell them to any other person. The three treasures can only be transmitted through authorized masters in front of God. If we reveal them to any person, they become invalid to the person, and we also defy the heavenly decree. All the promises required are reasonable and achievable. It goes with our nature. If we practice and keep the promises, we will be able to become a wiser and a better person. We will become merciful, and nurture the good seed of doubt planted in our mind. One last thing to mention is that one of the reasons we are able to receive doubt is due to the good deeds of our ancestors. Therefore, as we persistently practice Tao, our ancestors will also benefit from it and so will our descendants. As long as you are prepared for the above mentioned, you are qualified to receive Tao, 
no matter what nationality, race, or religion you belong to. Notes, in order to be exempted from the rebirth cycles, to avoid the ordeal of hell, to alleviate the suffering and misfortunes in our lives, and to be able to return back to heaven after death and enjoy permanent happiness, we have to receive Tao. And the general qualifications are, 1. To be with a compassionate heart, and to be fortunate enough to be born in a time when Tao is available to the public. 2. To have sowed the seeds of virtue by helping many people and offering lots of charitable services in the previous lives. This is the divine affinity with God. 3. To have ancestors with beneficences and welfare work as well. 4. To meet the introducer and guarantor who indicate the way to attain Tao to me. It is very likely that, in the previous lives, we did charitable services together, or we sell C-U-L-T-I-V-A-T-E-D together in the same religion. So, in this life, when Tao is available, we can help each other out and practice Tao together again. So time is right for Tao due to our divine affinity. D.I. What impact does receiving DAO have on Emmy as we mentioned before, and like the old days when hermits had to leave their families to receive Tao through meditation and self-cultivation, Tao, at the present time, can be received in a way that is applicable and conforming to our practical needs. We don't have to give up our lifestyle in order to attain Tao. By the grace of God, Tao is intended to be delivered to the public at all levels of occupations and around the world, rather than being limited to a privileged group of people. The impacts that receiving Tao can have on our daily life are summarized as the following, A. Receiving Tao creates no conflicts with any religions Tao governs the universe including all human beings. It existed before the formation of any religions. It is concordant with all religions in the sense that religions preach the awareness of conscience and the pursuit of the truth. We don't he need to give up our religion in order to receive Tao. On the contrary, by receiving Tao, we will have further understanding of the truth. The conscience becomes our ultimate guidance due to the variations of cultures, customs, backgrounds, legislation, and value systems, it is difficult to find a universal guideline for all of us to follow in our daily life. In receiving Tao, the main commandment is to act by our conscience, the true self, rather than by literature. We should be sensitive to the conscience, rather than be familiar with the laws. C. We will voluntarily keep the promise made while receiving Tao through receiving Tao. We are not offered conscience or true self, but merely the opening of the door to a wisdom and mercy. Therefore, we restore the heavenly principles inherent in us, and strengthen the power originating from our conscience. There is no external force that makes us keep the promises and commitments that we made when we received Tao.
the only force comes from the guilty feelings that result from our misbehaviors, which reduces the mistakes we make. The practicing Tao can accommodate our worldly affairs the fulfillment of practicing Tao and conscientious awareness does not have to be accomplished in a temple or church. It is not required to abandon worldly belongings or relationships in order to attain the ultimate truth. Each individual can still have his slash her family, career, and schooling at the same time. As long as we keep in mind the basic guideline we should have our practicing Tao and getting closer to our divine self. We will make a better world by improving ourselves first after we receive Tao by realizing the true self and what we are, the feeling of joy comes to us. The improvements on the quality of our spiritual life will affect people surrounding us. By interacting and working together in Tao, we will make the world better with lower crime rate and less pollution. The wish of Maitreya will finally come true to turn the world into God's kingdom and make people all live in harmony. The I.I. What can attest the validity of Dao Dao, due to its completeness and generality, regulates the totality of all beings. Many people, after receiving Dao, with their wisdom, faith, and devotion, realize that Tao is the fundamental principle that governs all things. They comprehend the truth of the universe not only through literature, but also through daily living and nature. Their faith in Tao becomes strengthened and they move forward in their spiritual life. However, for people who haven't he or just received Tao, Tao can be confirmed through revelations. A anyone who has received Tao with the front door open shall die peacefully. One proof of this is that for those who have received Tao and died, their bodies remain soft and their faces vivid. Since the soul leaves the body through the correct exit, the corpse can actually remain UN corroded for a few days. With the most advanced modern science and technology, it is still difficult to explain this phenomenon. However, it is a fact that cannot be denied. This has happened before in some religions, but very rarely. For people who have received Tao, this kind of testimony is ubiquitous, unless they have committed serious sins and corrupted their own mind. This can prove the soul has reached an ultimate harmony. Be being the superintendent of the things on earth, Human beings are nonetheless weak. Since birth, we are subject to unpredictable accidents and natural disasters. There have been many people who encountered danger, used the three treasures with faith, and got away from the danger or reduced the damage to the minimum. Testimonies of this kind are numerous. The above two mentioned are rarely heard of and difficult to believe, but they are the immediate security given by God once a person has received Tao. Thereafter, with each individual as faith, wisdom, and the accumulation of good deeds, one will come to know the truth more and more. 
it asks up to you to experience the value of this treasure. I hope you will have the opportunity to receive Tao, experience it in your life, achieve ultimate perfection, and realize eternity. Endiaro di UCDI will undo the AO.